Hello and welcome to i3 Robotics. Today I'm going to make a security system using PIR sensor and Arduino in Tinkercad circuit. So let me take you to the Tinkercad here. I'm already logged into the Tinkercad and you can see that there is a default title. The first, you know, it's must change. Uh, so this is uh, security system uh, using PIR sensor. That's my title. You're free to change the title. Uh, this title actually says that the security system that I'm going to make is using PIR sensor. So you can drag one PIR sensor, you can see on the right hand side. Let me tell you something about this PIR sensor. So PIR full form is passive infrared sensor. It can sense the movement and motion of a human, boy, human being as well as of animal. Because we uh, living being has, uh, you know, illuminating blood. So that, uh, yeah, you know, uh, emits infrared that can be detected by the sensor. So whenever we make any movement, it gets detected by this, ultra, uh, this uh, infra, you know, PIR sensor. And we can use it for, uh, you know, making our project. So this PIR sensor that I'll be using today to make the security system. Idea is that I will install it in my home, in my uh, near my garden, or uh, you know at the gate, or inside my room. So while I'm sleeping, if someone like is trying to enter, and some if any movement has been detected. Uh, we will get an uh, alarm. So an alarm, we can raise an alarm as well as we can, uh, you know, turn on the LED or red light. So anything can be done. We can install it for the security purpose anywhere, uh, whatever you can imagine. So let's uh, start making. I have PIR sensor and let's take one, let's take one Arduino as well. Because Arduino is going to be the hard brain of this uh, project, which will control the entire event. And we do have one ultra, so, you know, PIR sensor, which will sense the movement of the animal or any human being. So the first thing first, we need to uh, make the circuit of it. Let me draw, let me bring the cursor near the pin. It has three pins, signal pin and the power pin and ground pin. Power and ground, that's, uh, you know, as usual, it needs uh, to be connected to the voltage source, like five volts, positive and negative, so that it can work. And this is the last one that is negative, or we ca we call them cathode. So this is connected well. That's fine. The one pin is left, the signal pin. Through the signal pin only, Arduino can read the sensor. So there is very simple, uh, you know, steps that is involved uh, in it. That is, Arduino will keep reading the pin, then a signal pin. Here, Arduino is not going to send any signal to the sensor but the sensor is working independently than Arduino. Whenever the sensor detects any person, you know, it sends a high signal to the Arduino. And whenever it doesn't detect any person or any movement, it sends a low signal to the Arduino. So what Arduino is doing? Arduino is keep reading the pin, signal pin, and he is checking what is what sensor is saying, send, giving me high or low. And accordingly, we will make, uh, you know, uh, our program so this is the sensor part. Next is the output part. You can attach LED as well as you can attach, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, buzzer as well. So let me attach LED for timing. So I, I'm going to attach LED. This is uh, our cathode pin that is minus need to be connected with cathode. Uh, so uh, let's let me connect to the cathode that is ground pin. And I have connected to the ground pin very well. I think I need to change the resistance value as well. Let me change the, this is one kilo, that is fine. And this is the anode. Anode, that's control pin, I'll be connecting to pin number eight. So let me change color, yeah. So one more thing I'll attach, that is a buzzer. So the buzzer is kind, it can raise an alarm. So whenever the sensor will sense any person or any it's going to, uh, you know, uh, raise alarm for me. So the positive, again, need to be connected to any uh, control pin. So that is, I'll connect to pin number nine. Okay, pin number nine, let's change the color, uh, some different color, and I think yellow, yeah. And this is the negative pin. As well, 
the negative pin also has to be grounded and I'm going to make it ground. That's all. I hope you got it right. So the entire thing you can connect them in the breadboard, but I have given you a simple overview that what are the components that we can use in our security system using PIR sensor. So being a, a developer, I know, uh, being a programmer, I know in the mind what's all about. I have PIR sensor whenever it sends any movement or any human movement of, of human being or animal, it's going to give the signal to Arduino. And then I will write code that whenever you get high value, you turn on the light, red LED, as well as you raise an alarm. That's all, okay? So let's just try writing code. Without code, this system is not going to do anything. So I'm going to write code quickly. Uh, this is the pre-written code. It's not needed at all. Let me just uh, drop to the bin, yes. And let's just start from a scratch. So the first is a comment block. You are advised to, you can use multiple comments block. I'm using one. So I'll write code for code for security system. So that's all, code for security system. So what uh, the Arduino is going to do is Arduino constantly will read the sensor what sensor is giving? Is it giving high or low, right? So well, I'll give, I'll take the if else condition this time. And this time I'll take if else condition. And I will say that you read that pin already. How you can say this? We'll give condition simply. To give condition, let's drag math block. And here I will tell them that you read the input pin, means the sensor pin, you know? Sensor is connected to pin number seven. So I will say that read digital pin. So digital pin, pin number seven. This sensor is completely digital. Either it gives high or it gives low. So I'll tell them, read the pin number. Which pin? Pin number seven. You read it, okay? And check what's the value. If it is greater, if it is greater than, or, or if it is equal to, you can write, if it is equal to high. So how we, where we can get the high value? In the math block, you can get the high block. So if it is equal to high, then what do you do? You turn on this light. To turn on the light, simply set that pin to high. Which pin? LED pin is connected to pin number eight. So I will turn them high. And what else? I need to raise alarm as well. So we'll go to output again, and I'll choose the speaker pin. So I think a speaker pin is here. Play a speaker. So this block. Play a speaker, we need to change the pin number that is connected to pin number 9. And I'll say that a tone of having 60 Hz frequency, you generate that and play for one second. It will keep, you know, increasing for longer, as long as it's sensing it, so that's enough. And then, if uh, the sensor is, uh, if the Arduino is not reading high value from the sensor, what it's supposed to do? It is supposed to, uh, you know, uh, let that speaker off and let the LED be on, oh sorry, off. So let it be off. So I'm going to turn off the light as well as I'm going to turn off the speaker as well. So how we can turn the speaker off? To turn the speaker off, we need to go to the output. Yeah, we are already, we are here and we will drag turn off the speaker pin. That is connected to pin number eight. Let me see, yes, pin number eight. Uh, speaker is connected to pin number nine. Okay, pin number nine, that's fine. And then, uh, just for a smooth process, I'm going to wait for a while, for one second at least. So I'll tell them, hey, wait for one second, just let it work out well. And all said, done, let me test it. How does it work actually? So imagine we have a PIR sensor here, okay? We have a PIR sensor, buzzer and Arduino, uh, and LED. I'm going to start simulator. Let's click on the sensor. You will get a kind of uh, something. Imagine, here is a person. Okay. So you can see when the person is outside, not in range. So this sensor is not sensing this movement anymore because this person is not in the range of the sensor. So as soon as the person comes in the range of the sensor, you would see the LED is turning on, the buzzer has started making sound. That's done. And as soon as I'm coming out of this, 
for one second it is staying on after it is turning off so this way you can see that our sensor is uh, making uh, uh, you know uh, this is very uh, efficient project that is security system using PIR sensor I hope you liked it you have, uh, you are all uh, you know advised to further implement the code and you can attach as many things as you want thank you and see you later in the next lesson in the next tutorial